Okay, I just got this today uh, in the mail. This is made by Mars MD, and it's a universal shaft. So it's uh, supposedly able to fit over 50 different metal detectors. Um, it's obviously designed uh, after the XP Deus uh, shaft handle assembly, but um, so yeah, let's check it out and see what it looks like. Okay. It's almost like getting a new detector in the box. Okay, so let's see here. Looks like we got a spool of uh, assortment of different uh, types of rubber washers. Here's the lower shaft that's attached to with a little Velcro strap. Slide that off for now. So it comes with a lower, lower shaft. the instructions bag of screws the different types of metal detectors looks like this is the, uh, the piece that you mount the control box to A Velcro strap, Velcro arm strap. Take that out. There's the arm cuff. This, by the way, is really nice and thick plastic. That's barely budging. Yeah, that's good quality stuff. There it is. There's the handle assembly. Cool. Okay, so I would assume the first thing I need to do is uh, to assemble this thing. Take that screw off and put the arm cuff on. Slides on easily enough. Let's tighten that screw down nice and tight. Yeah, that looks uh, very similar to the XP Deus. The, the shaft doesn't slide as easily. <laughs> I guess with time it will it'll slide. Maybe a little bit of oil on here will help or something. Um, so yeah, it's interesting. The end, where on the Deus you would mount your controller, it's just smooth plastic. Um, but I'm thinking that this would be something that you could use as a, hopefully as a cheaper alternative to even the dais. If you had an extra coil, you could use this, uh, possibly mount the remote there and use it as an extra detector if you had two coils. But like I said, it's it's uh, designed to, to be universal, so it should work with many machines. Okay, so the little template here that you mount the control box just slides right in like that. That's kind of cool. So I thought I'd compare the two. Yeah, this thing really is hard to, to move. Um, it's, it's definitely heavier construction. The weight's a little bit heavier than the than the dais, actually quite, I mean, the dais is just so light. I mean, anyone that's owned a dais, you know how light that thing is. Um, this thing's not heavy by any means, but um, it's just thicker plastic, heavier duty. Um, I like the grip, it has good, good feel to it. Um, as far as size goes, this uh, arm cuff bar, a little bit longer on the Mars MD Universal shaft than um, the XP Deus. And, uh, let's see. 
you know, the, the upper shaft assembly is a little bit longer as well. Um, I wondered, I kind of wondered how it would fit in my, uh, my case, my XP Deus case, which it's not that you couldn't get it to fit, but you'd have to cut some foam. Um, just a little bit longer. Um, this thing can slide in, of course. So, you could get it to fit, but you'd have to cut some foam a little bit. It doesn't quite match up, as you can see. Um, comparing the two side by side, you can see they're, they're very similar in design. Almost identical, really. Um, like I said, this thing is heavy duty. So yeah, it's a close match. Um, I'm gonna, I got an F19 here. It's not on the list of detectors that that uh, will fit, but it's uh, but the gold bug, the Fisher gold bug is. So I think this will work. I'm gonna give it a try. So one thing I'm noticing is um, the screws that came with it. These screws actually work quite well. They're gonna thread just just perfect into the the control box of the uh, F19. It does say on the instructions that there's a few detectors that you're going to need to do some minor surgery to, um, which I wouldn't be happy with, but um, that would be in the, looks like the white Coin Master or the Garrett Ace series. You have to possibly do some surgery to. Um, but on this, these screws don't fit in the holes. I'm going to have to do some drilling, but that's that's just it so um, let me screw drill the, these holes out a little bit bigger and I'll get right back to you okay so I got the uh, F19 coil attached to the, the shaft assembly lower shaft assembly that's that's not a big deal at all I just matched up the washers uh, to my F19 with this disc and um, found the right size and threw them on um, however this it fits. It works good. Don't get me wrong. But um, it's not just uh, screw it in. You have to do some um, some drilling and some countersinking um, just to let you know. So let me show you what I mean. Okay, so we take this off. It slides off. It's a little tricky to get to line up these grooves and get on, but it's not bad. Um, I guess ideally, if you can order these from Mars MD, you could have like a whole set, depending on how many detectors you had, and just uh, you know mount each one to your control box and slide it in and out and be ready to go. It would also be nice if you could order more of these. Um, I don't know if that's getting too uh, hoity-doity or not, but um, anyways, so the holes line up just fine, and I think I probably could have used these back holes as well, but they were too small. Um, these screws are the screws that came with it, but they don't fit in these holes. So I drilled the holes out wider, and then in order for, uh, you have to countersink them in, down in, so that you can slide this through the groove right there. So just to let you know, not a big deal. It took me all of five minutes at the most with my hand drill. Um, you could have made it more precise and did a, uh, a drill press, but I don't have a drill press, so I just used my hand drill. It worked fine. Just thought I'd let you know as a warning. Oops. Okay, well, so let's, let's try to put this thing back on. Like I said, it's a little tricky to, to line it up. It's not too bad, but you've got to get it just right. There we go. Oh, maybe not. Let me pause it for a second. Get it lined up just right. Should just slide in just like that. You can tighten it. It feels pretty secure. Let's see that. I got an F19 control box mounted on a Mars MD Universal shaft. Let's put the uh, coil on and see how it looks. Okay, unlock this cam lock. 
Now this, I've noticed the lower shaft does not slide on very easily. And I'm sure it's just a matter of getting the plastic worn in to fit into these grooves. I've also noticed that you kind of have to play a little bit with these cam locks. Let me pause it again. Okay, so I got it out started. Yeah, and it's a little it's a little stiff. It's not as smooth of an operation as the XPDS. But um like I said, I think it's just because it's new plastic, a big part of it. So let's get this. Okay, there you have it. The F19 assembled. I must say it looks pretty good. Um I will also say it doesn't feel quite as light weight as I thought it would. Um, the specs on this uh, handle assembly is, I think, under two pounds, if I remember right. So I was thinking it was going to be nice and light. I mean, it's heavy duty. It's it's a thick plastic. I think it's uh, pretty durable. But um, I'll have to do a test out in the field for a few hours and see how my arms feel. There it is, full length. Here's what she looks like. Uh, done up, I guess. Um, so, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with it. I think the price is pretty good. This was just about $120. Um, and I've always been curious about these things since I, I've seen uh, prototype pictures leaked on Mars MD. And that's been a couple of years, so... It, Took a few years to be the to have these available in the U.S. Um, so yeah, there it is. It's a it's definitely a worthy experiment, I think. Um, and it does fit the F19 just fine. Um, so I think I I think if you uh, if you're looking for a, a different kind of handle. Um, something more compact, um, possibly make a case for several of your detectors and just, you know, switch out the, the template and switch out the coil and you have, you have a, a whole new detector. So, um, yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Um, like and subscribe and I, I welcome all comments. So thank you.